Yes, what? Yes, oh my god, what? Dude, listen, you don't need me to tell you that Knuckles hasn't been done justice since, um, what is it now? X? Shit. So you know when they started marketing this thing as a Knuckles vs. Sonic movie? Bro, I was elevated. Look, boys, this is it. This is the W Knuckles fans have needed for years now. Is the movie perfect? No. But all the flaws come from either the humans, Sonic, Tails, even Eggman but none from Knuckles. You could almost say that he is um rougher than the rest of them. The best of them, perhaps. Tougher than leather, even. Ladies and gentlemen and MBs, I am proud to announce, Knock, Knock, Knuckles is back. There are a few things you gotta get right with Knuckles. He's stoic, he's driven, and he's guileless, but not dumb. That's the important one. And see, what I was afraid they'd do is that they do a complete 180 and overcorrect this, so he's just this macho, overly serious grump with no levity, because that's not who Knuckles is. There was always this aura of goofiness with him before they started misusing it. And it makes me so happy to say that this motherfucker is the funniest character in the movie. They did it. They figured out that the comedy doesn't come from Knuckles being a moron, but an antisocial hothead in an unfamiliar place. More Drax, less Patrick. You feel me? In fact, he's explicitly not dumb. They make a point to show that he's a smarter fighter than Sonic and has the ingenuity to back it up. He picks up on shit that Sonic does and uses it to his advantage. His whole dynamic with Eggman isn't presented as boss and brute. It's cunning villain and misguided hero, which even like ignoring Knuckles just gives more credibility to Eggman as a villain, like actually tricking him into going along with his plan as opposed to him just being a henchman or some shit. It also makes Knuckles' naivete complement his other personality traits instead of just being used for shits and giggles. The fact that this guy wants and thinks he's doing the right thing all throughout the movie is what makes him such a great antagonist, just like Sonic 3. The second he's on screen, the movie lets you know, he's not fucking around. This is a man on a mission. Like Before you actually get to know Knuckles, he's presented as this unstoppable force of nature, just smacking the shit out of Sonic. You think he talked about his wife or something? Boom, baby, topical, let's go! As the movie goes on though, we get a lot more personal with Knuckles. Through his interactions with the other characters, we get to see a side of him that we rarely ever get to see. How he actually stops and thinks about his actions. How he sees Eggman as an ally throughout the whole movie, staying loyal to him until the very end because he doesn't live in a world without honor. Or when he fights Sonic and gets progressively angrier at his bullshit. Or his interactions with Tails? Dude, you know how long I've waited for Knuckles and Tails to actually interact? They're supposed to be best friends, but we never see that. And we see that. It's great, man. I at this point, I don't even care about the wonky pacing or the uh, bad editing or the weird subplot in the middle. What I care about the most right now is that a lot of kids are gonna go and see this movie, right? And they're gonna see Knuckles the same way I saw him when I was a kid. That alone, I think is worth celebrating. And it's something that makes me so happy. Mm -hmm.